प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू यू आई पाथ एक्सपो हब चैनल एंड हिट द बेल आईकॉन बी द फर्स्ट पर्सन टू वॉच द लेटेस्ट ऑटोमेशन वीडियो Hey there today we are going to learn how to set credential store in classic folder and modern folder i am going to give you a bit of idea about the classic folder and modern folder how does that function and how to utilize the credential store right before that myself rakesh from ui path expo hub channel in our channel we have created numerous videos on all the chapters that you need to learn please do subscribe to our channel do not forget to subscribe and also please do like all the videos that you are watching in on our channel that helps thank you very much with that let's get started so when i say credential store right so all you have to do once you log into your ui path uh, uh, orchestrator on your profile below here you would find something called credential store so yesterday in my previous video i have covered that how to create a credential store now in this one i am going to specifically talk on the classic folder and the modern folder so here on the top menu you have the option to switch so uh, the orange color ones are known as the classic folders and the blue ones are known as the modern folder to start with let me select the one of the modern folder that i have so if i switch back to the modern folder what happens uh, in the modern folder one thing you need to know in the modern folder we do not uh, Uh, create robot right we do not create robot so we do not create robot in modern folder but classic folder you have to create a robot right so how does that work so what happens when you are in a modern folder all you have to do is just go to there is an option called folders okay so how does that work when you are not creating robot then how how does things function so let me tell you when you are adding so project to development team is the modern folder now you can see there is a user who has been already been added so by default on your orchestrator you will be the user by default so in in case you wanted to add you can use this option to add multiple users now whom are you are adding what would happen you don't have to add you know you don't have to add uh, you know create a robot for him all you do once you add the user or by default there will be a robot get created so when i'm adding it you will see there is an option for example when i'm adding it so what happens so i have another so let me select okay so when i select uh, so what happens number of role selected what role you want to give right and you can assign so when you do this what happens so you can see um, the robot type is not declared over here right so how do you get the robot type over here what you do you go to the users and racket87 for you hotmail.com right so he is the person so what i'm going to do here all i do i click on this click on edit right so here i have something called unattended robot right so unattended robot generally requires a password now when it comes to credential means your password right username password so when it comes to a uh, a uh, a robot which requires a password or domain username password so all of this can be stored in a credential store right so it can securely be stored so that nobody can access that data because it is it has to be kept secure because it's a password right so uh, if you have um, added multiple different databases uh, this is a community edition i cannot add it and show it to you but again if you have added you have a option or you will get a drop down here to select which credential store it might be a cyber arc credential store or any other third party credential store that you might have linked to your orchestrator you would find an option to click on the drop down and select that so here by default orchestrated database is the secure credential store provided by ui path okay so here if i type the username and the password right so whatever the user domain username and password you type what would happen this data will get stored securely in the orchestrated database so this is how it works in a modern folder the same thing when i switch back let's say let me switch back to a classic folder which is orange in color right so in the classic folder how do i store my credentials um, i need to know right so how do you store it is slightly different it's not the same way so what you do in your classic folder once you switch back to classic folder right you will have click on robots and here in the robot section right you can add robots so when i'm adding robot right it gives me an option let's say i am going to enter the you know how to add a robot in a classic general folder by default 
so when i'm adding a machine here it ask me um, you know type of robot let's say i am selecting unattended so generally for unattended kind of robots it will ask for username and if you scroll slightly down you will find the password right so this kind of data where you want to store so i want to select the credential store as orchestrated database by default if you have multiple different stores you can select any one of them right so this is how it function in a classic folder okay so we just learnt to store the unattended or the robot credentials right you know how i can switch between different credential stores i have okay now the next thing i need to learn uh, there are two things it will store okay one is your robot credential just now i showed you uh, robot credential but the other one also uh, it can store is the asset okay so it can have you um, are you i think i will show you that so there is something called asset credential type okay now when it comes to credential again you want to store in a secure vault you don't want to store just like that right so how to do that let me show you all you do i am in the default folder and both of uh, in the default folder and mod folder this remains constant i mean there is no big difference so here what i am go going to do i'll come to assets and let's say i am creating a credential so you will see uh, when i am selecting text there is no such thing credential store right there is nothing now the moment i click on the drop down and say credential what would happen the credential store comes into picture so credential store is very simple it is storing your username and password in a secure way in a secure vault right cyberarc is your there's multiple different third party uh, credential stores which are used in companies so if you if your company uses or has license for some other credential store and you are guided not to store the credential in orchestrated database ui path you want to store in your own private owned uh, uh, database that you have in your company you can utilize that so that is where we need to learn how where to do it and how to do it okay so here when i am selling selecting credential these give me an option to choose the required credential store so that's all is the concept guys so all you do is uh, whatever i told you uh, try to do that on your uh orchestrator so once you you know put your hands on uh, that's where you'll understand this is a quite simple one but again uh very informative right anytime somebody talks on credential store you understand what it is right and how to utilize that in a classic folder and how to utilize that in a modern folder is something you must know so once you have that kind of a knowledge you'll be more stronger right uh, when it comes to ui path orchestrator thank you so much guys for watching as i always request you please do like the videos please do comment please do subscribe to our channel thank you very much have a good day